Now with, the, now with the successful launch of Wednesday's navigation satellite, China's own Beidou navigation system is entering what we call a networking peak. More navigation satellites are scheduled to be put into orbit over the next two years. And analysts are predicting that China will complete a global navigation system before 2020. Song Suwei with this story. The Beidou Navigation System is a project by China to develop an independent satellite navigation system. The country launched three satellites between 2000 and 2003, creating an experimental navigation system which has limited coverage. But it's now developing a truly global one. The latest Beidou system, known as Compass, consists of 35 satellites. The first satellite was put into orbit in April 2007 and the one launched on Wednesday is the second. Ten more navigation systems are scheduled to go into space within the next two years. China is expected to build a navigation system covering the entire country as well as neighboring regions by 2011. It's expected that we can build a global navigation system before 2020. The application of a satellite navigation network has been becoming more widespread in China, and its market scale is doubling every two years. Once the Beidou navigation system is completed, its application on the ground will create an enormous industry. Its scale is estimated at over 100 billion yuan. Satellite navigation technology has been used in various sectors in China, including transportation, exploration and quick monitoring. So far, the number of subscribers in China's own Beidou system has reached over 40,000. Experts say with the development of this satellite navigation technology, related high-tech industries in the country are expected to gain momentum. Zheng Sui, CCTV. Oh, that clears it up then. Let's take a look at the world's major satellite positioning systems. The Global Navigation Satellite System, otherwise known as GNSS, is the standard term for satellite navigation systems. These allow small electronic receivers to pinpoint their location to just a few meters. Receivers on the ground in fixed positions can also be used to calculate precise times as a reference for scientific experiments. There are currently four major global navigation satellite systems in the world, including China's Compass system. As of now, the United States Global Positioning System, otherwise known as GPS, is the only fully functional and widely available GNSS. Now, this consists of up to 32 satellites, the exact number varying as older satellites are retired or replaced. Operational since 1978 and globally available since 1994, GPS is currently the world's most widely used satellite navigation system. I mean, or Russia's GLONASS. GLONASS system is currently being restored to full operational capacities. Consisting of 21 satellites, the first GLONASS satellites were launched into orbit in 1982. Russia has pledged to restore it to full global availability, availability by 2010. Now, the GNSS is Europe's Galileo system, jointly agreed by the European Union and the European Space Agency in 2002. Its first experimental satellite was launched in 2005. Galileo will also be compatible with the GPS system. Receivers will be able to combine signals from both Galileo and GPS satellites to increase the accuracy of results. Some predict that China's Compass navigation and satellite system will be fully operational by 2020, while others say the date will be closer to 2015. Earlier, we spoke to Chen Zhonggui, the deputy general engineer of the Compass navigation satellite system. He said he expects a fully global system will be functioning by 2015. The development of the Compass system is a step-by-step -step process. It will first cover the whole Chinese territory and its neighboring areas, and then go around the globe. The regional system will be completed by 2011. We will gradually increase the number of satellites to turn it into a global system, which, in my opinion, will be by 2015. But the exact time will depend on the progress of the project. In terms of the accuracy, our compass is more precise than GPS within China, but in other parts of the world, the accuracy will basically be about the same. 
As you just saw in that preceding report, we are reporting that China's Compass navigation satellite system is due to be fully operational by 2020, but Xinhua News Agency says it will be completed by 2015. Uh, we spoke earlier to Chen Zhonggui, this is the uh, Deputy Chief Engineer of the Compass navigation satellite system, who explained why there's this discrepancy. The development of the Compass system is a step-by-step -step process. It will first be regional and will then be global. The regional system will be completed in 2011. We will gradually increase the number of satellites to turn it into a global system, which, in my opinion, will be completed in 2015. But the exact time will depend on the project's progress.